Welcome to the Black Wealth Channel, where we're committed to educating our community about financial literacy. In this video, we're going to delve into a transformative book that has touched millions of lives, including mine, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This book stands out among the vast sea of success literature because it takes an approach that's different from most. You see, over the past 200 years, the majority of success literature focused on what Covey calls the personality ethic. This approach emphasizes outward appearances, such as how you dress, your social interactions, a positive mental attitude, and techniques for manipulating others to achieve personal goals. Essentially, it's about how to appear successful rather than how to actually be successful. But The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People takes a unique approach. It delves into what Covey terms the character ethic, focusing on inner qualities like integrity, humility, courage, patience, and justice. It teaches that true success and lasting happiness come from internalizing and living by those principles. Imagine building a house the personality ethic is like decorating the facade with beautiful paint and ornaments, while the character ethic is the strong foundation that ensures the house stands the test of time. Covey argues that while there's a place for the personality ethic, it must always be rooted in the character ethic. So let's dive into these seven habits now. Habit one, be proactive. This habit is all about taking control of your life. Covey introduces the concept of the circle of concern and the circle of influence. The circle of concern encompasses things you can't control, such as the weather, other people's opinions, or the economy. In contrast, the circle of influence includes aspects of life you can control, like your attitude, your learning, and your habits. Reactive people focus on the circle of concern, often complaining about external factors. Proactive individuals, on the other hand, concentrate on the circle of influence. They recognize that they can't control everything, but they can control the responses to external events. They choose to be proactive and take responsibility for their actions. Habit two. Begin with the end in mind. This habit is about setting clear goals and having a vision for your life. Covey emphasizes that everything is created twice, first in your mind and then in reality. To get where you want to be, you need a map. What are your life goals? What's your destination? Develop a personal mission statement that defines your values and your purpose. This statement should guide your decisions, keeping you on the path to your ideal life. Habit three, put first things first. Putting first things first means prioritizing what truly matters. Covey introduces the concept of the time management matrix, categorizing tasks into four quadrants, urgent and important, not urgent, but important, urgent, but not important, and neither urgent nor important. To be effective, focus on activities in quadrant two, those that are important but not urgent. These include your health, building relationships, and personal growth. Too often people get caught up in quadrant one, urgent and important task, due to poor time management. But to truly lead an effective life, it's crucial to prioritize Quadrant 2 activities and allocate your time accordingly. In the next part of this summary, we'll explore the main four habits that move you from being independent to being interdependent, which Covey considers the highest level of the maturity continuum. Stay tuned to learn how to build stronger relationships and enhance your personal effectiveness. You can access part two in the description.
Bye for now.